Shh. Quiet, please. Hi, Miss Tina. How are you? I'm good today. How are you, JC? Hey, I'm doing good. Good, good. Um, loving this opportunity to sit and talk with you. Um, we do this on a regular basis. On the regular. I've known you since I was a baby. Three days old. And I am loving getting an opportunity to work with you. How cool is that? This is very cool. It's very <laughs> cool. I mean, yeah. It's just something. Mm-hmm. What have watched you grown from a toddler into a young man with a family? It's 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 unreal to me sometimes. It really is. But it's it's all it's all good. It's all good. Time goes by so fast. It does. Fleeting. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Um, we have had so many interesting conversations over the years, um, and there's just so much I wish that we could have captured. Uh, and we won't be able to to do it all in the short time that we were talking here. But um, I feel that it's so important that people in this community, in the community of Kokomo, understand just how cool, how many different people we have in this town that are just really cool. Yeah. And well, you're one of those for people for me. Well, now. You know, <laughs> that's not a term I would think of with myself, but mm -hmm. I'll take it, JC. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there are there are a lot of interesting people in Kokomo, and until you can sit down with people mm -hmm. and know their backstory, you really don't know. I mean, you just mostly we see what's on the surface. Right. When you really sit down, you'd be like, wow. You know, you're kind of blown away by some things that people have done, places they've been. So it, it's it's all good. It's all good. Relationships are everything. They are. And, you know, when I think about relationships, I think about just how fortunate I have been to, well, let's start from the beginning, just how awesome my parents are. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, and so the, the relationship that I have with you stems from you and my mother being best friends for mm -hmm. years. Yeah, yeah. And so what has, what has that relationship been like and meant to you over the years? You know, when I first moved here in 82, you know, didn't know a soul. And uh, Janet and JC were probably one of the first couples that I met when I moved here. I was, of course, married at the time. And uh, we just clicked. It was, it was like, you know how you can meet somebody and you feel at ease with them? Mm -hmm. And uh, I found that they were like being in a room with my own brother and sister. You know, when the laughs come easy yeah. and every, you have a lot in common and it was just good from the get go. Mm -hmm. uh, just a good relationship. And, 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 you know, over time, you know, Janet and I don't see each other a lot. But when we do, we pick up from wherever it is and it just it just goes from yeah. there. It goes from there. That's how, you know, it's like real true real, a friendship. Absolutely. That's, it's just absolutely it's true. Um, and I have a, I can think of a number of friends that we don't have to be speaking to each other all the time, seeing each other. But the moment that we do is we just picking it right back up. Absolutely. That's, that's a view. It's cool. a beautiful thing because I don't know. Is that rare in this day and time? I don't know if that is I, or not. I don't know. I would say that it is because if you really, if you listen to people, to young people, um, it seems to me that they're having difficulties developing relationships like that. Mm -hmm. uh, when the pandemic didn't help, on some cases, it really didn't help. But yeah. I mean, you know what? My people are my people mm -hmm. and they will continue to be my people yeah. until I don't have breath in my body. <laughs> so that's how I feel about it. <laughs> and I don't know if that says more about the person or if that's just so with the direction society has taken mm -hmm. relationships. I, I can't put my finger on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is different. It's it is different. Um, from a career standpoint, I know that you were a teacher for years, mm -hmm. and now you're in a different capacity, different stage of life. Um, what did being a teacher mean to you? You know what? As a, a kid growing up, I had two aunties mm -hmm. that lived in the South. And they were very big on education. When they came to visit, they brought encyclopedias. Mm. 
I mean, you know, one aunt worked at the library. Right. So whenever they had, you know, when you have things that are obsolete, we that's how we got our first set of encyclopedias wow. was from them. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, and there, I did not have a choice. I don't think my brother, any of us had a choice. The expectation was mm -hmm. that we were going to college. And because my dad passed away when I was nine, I think my brother was... 15 or 16 mm -hmm. so you know the family steps in when the when the father figure is gone the family gets right in there right. and uh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> we were gonna do something we were, they came every summer yeah and that's what we heard so uh wow. you know and it, it wasn't a bad thing because all three of us kids uh got our degrees mm -hmm. um and started doing whatever it was that we loved to do and when i was a kid jc I used to love when it was time to get school supplies because the smell of that newsprint paper yeah. that had the, uh, I think it was a Wyandotte, Wyandotte Indian on the front and it was yellow paper in the tablet. Mm -hmm. I used to love the smell of that and I love the smell of crayons and erasers. Wow. And I knew then, it's like, let me be in that world. Right. <laughs> so, so I think that's how, that's part of how all that got started. Mm -hmm. um, and when I started teaching, it just, it just felt like a natural fit for me yeah. somehow. And and I taught for a total of 37 years, 31 here in Kokomo, three in Ohio in my hometown, and then three in San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, nothing. there was nothing else I ever wanted to do but teach. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's special. Um, and since you've been retired, I could tell how impactful that you know education has been to you in your life and just how much you would enjoy and appreciate engaging with young people because now you um, are in a capacity to to continue to do that same thing as one of the first welcoming faces that people see young people see when they come on the campus of IU Kokomo at the welcome desk here at Alumni Hall on campus I love this job. Yeah. I love this job because what other job can you just greet people all day, mm -hmm. tell them good morning, you know, listen to whatever they want to talk about that day. Um, what I really like as far as the students, they will come and they might tell me something that's going on in their life and I can say this, that, or the other. Or I always tried to get them to see that, you know, you have options. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't have options. You have options. Yeah. Um, even even when they're working a job and maybe they say, well, all I do is, and I'm just a, a I said, but you know what? You be the best whatever it is you can be mm -hmm. because somebody sees you. Right. So, you know, I, I try to, I try to give them a little nugget of stuff. Not that I've had every experience in the world, but I try to give them what's true. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't make up stuff. I only can tell them what I really know about. And uh, I love that. And I, I think, you know, aside from that, it's just fun to you know talk to them because, again, it's like being with nieces and nephews. It's all it, it keeps going back to family. Right. It keeps going back to that every time, mm -hmm. all the time. I just yeah, it's amazing to You're me. Collecting a new family member every day. Every, every day, every academic year, every year, every day, yeah, and it's it's oh gosh, it's so much fun, so that's, much fun. That's special. That's special. You're a special person. Um, I think anybody who will listen to this and and already has a knowledge of you. Oh yeah, <laughs> already has a knowledge of you, and also who is just seeking that kind of person and personality. Um, you know, maybe maybe that'll draw them to the campus of IU Kokomo. Hey, I gotta know hey, Miss Tina. <laughs> you know what? I'm an ambassador. I'm yeah. an ambassador for IU Kokomo. I'm also an ambassador for Central State University. <laughs> but on the local level, I'm an ambassador for IU Kokomo. Um, I just want I want people to young people to uh, to reach their fullest potential. I want them to uh, whatever it is they decide to do. I want people to be happy yeah i'm happy for people when they uh, achieve their goals i just want people to be happy life's mm -hmm. too short not to be happy right and uh there was a saying I, I can't i can't give credit to the person 
who said this quote, mm -hmm. but uh, it said, you know, everybody gets to be young, but not everybody gets to be old. Ooh. So to me, Powerful. you know, you go through those young years, making good decisions, doing the right thing, being at the right time, taking opportunities when they come available. Because see, like again, everybody ain't able, JC. Yeah. You know, there's so taking yeah, advantage of those opportunities, you can have pretty decent life. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent life. You don't have to have all the money in the world, although yeah, that helps, but you can have a good life. You just need to find happiness and find joy yeah. and maintain that joy and happiness. Yeah. And you got to fight for it. Right. Because, you know, people would try to take it away from you. Yep. But sure I, I, you got to fight for it. And when you fight for it, you sleep so good at night. <laughs> you <laughs> don't have to worry sleep. about stuff happening to you. It's right. just like, okay, here, here we go. Yeah. Good life. It's a good life. Absolutely. And I think we find uh, our com one of our common interests are. We love the Lord. Yes. We love yes. the Lord. We know that he is our source and that joy truly is found in him. It is. It so is. If I could ask you, and maybe this is a little bit out of order. Sometimes I do that and things that should be first come at the end, whatever. Um, but what do you wake up for every morning? What, what really gets you going? What drives you? What motivates you? To just be who you are every day. Um, when when I wake up, my uh, my thing is uh, for for one to bring joy to somebody's life. Mm. That's the first thing, uh, and also I just ask the Lord to help me to be the woman He created me to be. Yeah, and I don't know where that is all the time, mm -hmm. but whatever it is, let me be able to do that each day. Whether it's, you know, if I'm at the grocery store or just wherever I'm, I just want to be the person he created me to be yeah. and be true to him and be true to myself. Yeah. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do every day. That is awesome. That is awesome. Folks, uh, that's just a little bit of Miss Tina Robinson. She's a very special woman, not only to this campus of IU Kokomo, but to me personally in my life, uh, again, I've known her since I was a baby. I know how special she is. And anybody who has an opportunity to encounter Miss Robinson, she's just just a sweet, sweet, sweet woman. Who are you so, talking about, JC? I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Dr. King one time. Ralph Abernathy was, was introducing him. And Dr. King got up and said, Sometimes I have to wonder who it is Ralph is talking about <laughs> <laughs> in my best Dr. King voice. But it was a pleasure talking to you today. It was a pleasure to do this today, JC. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. and love I you appreciate you. You know I love you. Yes. You know I love you like you're my son. Yep. yep. So there's that. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. God bless.